place um, to have everything in place, guys. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. But those of you all who have been in other opportunities, um, who've had disappointments in this industry, guess what? This is what you've been waiting for, what you've been warming up to. Um, everything that you've gone through up until now has been preparing you for this moment. So here are some things. I'm going to give you five things I want you um, to have with your mindset. I'm going to be quick, jump in and jump out because there's a lot of great people on this call um, that you want need to hear from. First and foremost, I want you to be coachable and learn how to take advice. Okay, be coachable, learn how to take advice. Um, you're going to have your leaders are going to be showing you how to structure your organizations. For so many of you all, you know, a lot of times you feel like you may know or even things you have done in the past. I want you to have an open mind this time. Um, I want you to do things differently. Okay, so in having that open mind, um, you know, make sure that you uh, listen to people who uh, may have experience in other areas that you don't have experience in. You know, there are people in this opportunity, although I've had success in the past, although I've made multiple six figures in the past, there's people here that have done things that I haven't done, have built in markets I have not been in. I am asking questions, okay? We were in Vegas with lots of different leaders. I'm open-minded. I'm asking questions. I'm not going in there saying this is what I've done or whatever. No, if I want to do something I have never done before, I want to do it bigger and better and more efficient and more sustainable and with better retention than I've ever done it before. So I'm going to have to glean from all the leaders that are here. So as we're having the um, Zoom training for Forex that is happening, Coach Max, Coach Ryan that are putting together, as we're having these trainings, as we have people like Mark um, and Mr. Mr. Iverson and so many others that are going to be pouring into us, have an open mind. And in having that open mind, you're going to have to learn to open yourself to new experiences and new success, okay? So a lot of times, some of you all you have had negative experiences. So as you're coming into this and you're having an open mind and you're opening yourself to new experiences, I want you to detox yourself from all the things you've been through in the past. You're going to have to disconnect from some people. Okay, you might have negative people coming from another company or somewhere that you came from that was a bad experience, and those people are trying to pull you into their drama. People who are unhappy, they try to pull you into their toxicity, right? So what you need to do, you're going to have to block some phone numbers this time around. You're going to have to unfriend some people. You might not talk to some people for the next six months, and that's okay because it is not aligning itself with what you're doing. That is not giving you the mindset that you want and that you're going to need to have. I want everybody here to be selfish for them. Right now, I want you to be selfish for the success that you are looking to have, okay? Um, next, get over yourself and self-promote, okay? Self-promote yourself. Go hard for yourself. I don't care who thinks what. You might say, I don't want people to think I'm, um, I'm self-absorbed. I don't want people to think um, well, you know what I want people to think when they see you? That is one wealthy family. That is somebody who is going places, who is opening opportunities, okay? Get over yourself, self-promote. Don't worry about what people think about you. That does not matter. It is not even your concern with things. It doesn't even have anything to do with you about what they think. What they think is their issue, okay? So if you're posting about your opportunity three to four times a day, if you're self-promoting your team, if you're talking about what you're doing, if you're posting your successes, I want you to self-promote, be so selfish about what you're doing, that you're blocking out everything, that you're putting everything in the right place, okay? Putting your mentality, putting your, uh, uh, your brand out there. If you have a logo, if there's something special that you're offering, I want you to get with your leader, your team, and know, guess what? No matter how many people are in Epic, if it's me who's the leader, if it is uh, Tracy who's the leader, if it is Mark who's the leader, nobody else has what you have. There are experiences that you have that you may not even look at as leadership, okay? If you're a single mother and you've had to lead your children uh, through difficult times, that is leadership characteristics that you have. That's a niche market that you may be able to speak to. I have an autistic child, so I can speak to special needs mothers and special needs um, 
families in a way that no one else can because I live that life every single day. There's something about who you are, what you've been through, all those things that you have gone through and experienced that make you um, able to deal with people, to connect with people in ways that no one else can self-promote that about yourself. Let people know when you get me, you are getting uh, someone who has these various experiences, okay? Um, leverage your strengths. Now, I will say this. Um, Jason Richardson is on the call. He's one of the leaders on my team. Um, Keith is on here. Uh, Patrick Batista. There's so many others. Uh, Emmanuel, who leads a massive team in Ghana, has been one of the biggest recruiters in Ghana for two of the largest companies there who's on our team. And I want to say I lean on them. They know me um, and I know what I'm not good at. Okay, so you have to surround yourself with things that you are people who have uh, weak strengths and areas that you are weak. Okay, so I want you to be honest, take an honest assessment of your leadership skills and know that I'm not good at kind of putting certain things together. I'm not detail oriented. Lean on your team and you all bond to build, come together with that united focus to build and you don't let anything, no distraction, no argument, no whatever, get in the way of what you all are trying to accomplish and get a mantra. If it's that we're having, we're, this team is gonna have a thousand people making a thousand dollars. Okay, that is our team goal. A thousand people making a thousand dollars. You all stay focused on that vision. You have to write, even the Bible tells you, write the vision and make it plain, right? So that is what you all need to do. Come together and stick to that. Um, lastly, I'm, I'm trying to get in and out, guys. Um, building your network. Right now, I know we have COVID. I know we have... Um, we're, we're social distancing, but everywhere that you can build your network, joining networking groups online, joining international groups online. That's how I started building internationally, connecting with people in various places in the world. Um, you know that there's trading groups, uh, uh, sorority, things that you're a part of. Even if you have an alumni association from a college you graduated, graduated from, make sure you plug into every network that is possible. Asking people who wants to learn how to day trade. Okay, that's an amazing thing that I want you all to do. Um, now I'm going to go back to setting um, one goal. Okay, um, here's the thing. So many of us know we're going to hit epic in this company. Okay, and the thing is, I want you to set not only a 90 day goal, but a goal by the end of this week, by Friday. Okay, by Friday, I'm going to have um, 500 people in my chat. By next Friday, I'm going to have this so that you have gradual steps, not just that great big picture, but the steps that are going to get you to that picture. And you need to know that about your leaders. Own what their goals are. If Tom Carver is one of the leaders and I'm one of the leaders on his team, he should know where I'm going. Okay. I should have already had a one-on-one -on -one with him and know, um, you know, you can just say, if you don't have a plan, you have a wish. Okay. You need to have a strategy. It can't just be what you're hoping to hit. Any of us can say anything, it's a fairy tale. We need to know um, how we're going to get to Icon. Okay, what steps are we going to take? Connecting with every resource that we have, people that are around us, and utilizing um, what we have in front of us. So remember, last thing I want to say, whatever your mantra is going to be, getting a thousand people, um, making a thousand dollars. We're going to change the lives for 200 families. We're going to make Christmas for 100 families. You need to have a vision like that that is for your team. Okay. I want you to also make sure that you connect with the upline. If you have an upline, you need to connect with that upline, bond with that upline, know how you all can get there together. And all the people on your team, you need to know what their goals are coming out the gate. Because I want you all to know everyone is going to be looking at us. We haven't had income. Look at the numbers that are coming in now. We haven't even unfolded income stories. We haven't even started the presentations that are going to happen four times a day. Everyone's going to be looking at this company, and you want them to be looking at you. So brand yourself. Put yourself out there. Have the right mindset of a champion. And I want to see each and every one of you. I look forward to seeing your success. I'm rooting for you. Um, I'm going to be cheering for you, and I am so excited about what we have in front of us. I'm going to throw it back to Tracy. Well, all right, Joy. Well, all right. Put some twos in the chat if you were inspired. She said, write your plan. She said, leverage your leaders. Network. She said, be selfish. She said, 
because she said promote 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 if people get tired of it it doesn't matter because they're not paying your bills she said affirmation she said so much and i hope you caught it all i hope you caught it all all right next up next up is the hype powerful bullish blake blake terry who's going to talk to us about motivation all right blake are you there I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Awesome, awesome. You guys awesome. Think, or I can't share my video or something. Um, but oh, that's well. okay. I can't either. Go ahead. All You're right, listening. Guys. man. I see all these twos dropping in the chat. There's over 1,200 people on this call. I hope you guys are all fired up. If you guys are fired up, let me see some fire drop in that chat tonight, you guys, because we are so excited about what's getting ready to take place. Guys, we have the vice president, Mr. Mark Sterling, on this call. We have Miss Tracy Johnson. You have Miss Joy Holly. You have myself, guys. You have Mr. Thomas Carver himself on this call, guys. And I'm telling you, we are going to bring that heat. So, guys, I just want you guys to understand, listen, I'm going to be brief, guys, but I want you guys to take some very good notes because, guys, my mentor always told me note takers are money makers. So make sure you take a lot of notes, guys, and make sure these notes are detailed. Guys, man, I see so much fire dropping in the chat. Guys, I'm telling you. First and foremost, the first note or the first nugget I'm getting ready to drop is, guys, this is the most important thing right? If you want to be successful, you must know that success starts with this first. Success occurs, guys, when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of making that change. Woo! I just hit that right there, right? Listen, success occurs when the pain of staying the same becomes greater than the pain of making that change. So guys, over these next 40 days, you need to set a list of goals for yourself. Guys, what rank do you want to achieve, right? How much money is it to set your family free, right? Your compensation, guys, is predicated by your behavior, guys. Your compensation is predicated by your behavior. So over the next 40 days and 40 nights, this is what you guys have to do, guys. First and foremost, first bullet point, right? Treat it like a business, okay? If you treat this company or if you treat anything like a hobby, guys, your pay will reflect that, okay? So treat it like a business, right? Because listen, you get paid on the value you bring to the marketplace. So you must treat this like a business to, in order to get paid like a business, right? Have your priorities in line, right? Meaning, schedule your day, guys and follow that schedule. You need to have your priorities in line. This needs to be the most important thing that you are launching over the next 40 days to 18 months, right? So 18 months, you need to be completely locked in and dedicated, right? Never be clocked out. Your business runs 24 seven, okay? Your business runs 24 seven. All other countries have different time zones in which they wake up. So you can treat this business and be, be it, it may be 1 o'clock a.m. your time and 6 o'clock a.m. somewhere else. Guys, the business and money never sleeps, right? Guys, now I want you guys to do something. Call your family. Call your friends. Let your wife, let your fiancés, let your girlfriends, let your boyfriends know. Guess what, guys? You are about to go in. You don't need any distractions right? You are about to go in, okay? You need to let them know you are about to go in, right? So guys, don't sleep on your dreams. Only take naps, right? Don't sleep on your dreams. Only take naps. Work every day like you're about to lose your job, right? You are about to lose your job, right? So work every day like you're about to lose your job, right? Personal production is key, right? Your personal production is your key, right? So guys, focus on your goals, right? Focus on your goals, okay? Draw out what freedom means to you, okay? What does freedom mean to you? What does a free life look like, right? If you don't know, 
Look at look at some of the industry leaders, right? If you don't know, look at Mr. David McCovey. Look at what a free life looks like, right? Look at what a free life looks like. Look at Mr. Mark Sterling, right? Look at what a free life looks like. Look at Spencer Iverson, Mr. Jonathan Green, right? Look at David Lee Siaga himself. Look at what a free life looks like, right? Leaders take control of their business, okay? Leaders take control of their business, right? And this one here is going to be the best part, right? You only keep 20% of what you build, right? Meaning only 20% of the people that you're actually building with are going to be the ones that are going to do the work and run just like you, right? So you only keep 20% of what you build. So keep building. Always stay in phase one, right? If you have a partner in this business, your partner must have a partner, okay? And their partner must have a partner. It's called accountability, guys. Make sure you have somebody that will hold you accountable. If you say you're going to get on Zoom at this time, get on Zoom at that time, right? If you say you're going to do a three-way call, do that three-way call, okay? Only work with the willing, all right? There's going to be a lot of people that come into this business, and they're not going to be the ones that really want to run. So only work with the willing, right? Make sure you touch bases with your upline every single week. Guys, I, my, my, a lot of people in my organization call me every single day because that's how serious they are. Call your upline every single week. Set special dates for your launch calls and events, right? Set special dates for your launch calls and events. You need to have at least three to five events, whether it's a Zoom call, an actual opportunity PBR, private business reception, you guys need to make sure you have event dates already set, okay? And one of the most important things when, 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 when we're recruiting, right, we're not looking for a person, guys. We're looking for a personality, okay? Let me say that again. We're not looking for a person. We're looking for a personality, okay? Right? Because this is where it comes down to. We need to respect people as people not dollar signs, okay? Respect people as people, not dollar signs, okay? So in the next 40 days, guys, if you want to take this business serious and you want to really build to a, to a level where you don't need any vacations, okay? You need to do at least 100 exposures. And I'm talking about the minimum over the next 40 days is 100 exposures, okay? So that means exposing three to five people a day, not just reaching out to them, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Guys, you must get their number or it does not count, okay? You must get their phone number or it does not count. Three to five people a day, right? Develop discipline of delayed gratification, okay? Develop the discipline of delayed gratification. I know there's a lot of people in the other countries who, 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 have, been, who have been bringing up events like, the $19 plus the 99 Guys, listen, it is delayed gratification. You guys should never receive a charge to your bank account. Never, okay? Develop the discipline of delayed gratification. Before you can go out and recruit anyone, you must first recruit yourself, right? You have to buy into the system. So before you can go out there and tell anybody how excited you are, you must first be excited enough to where you have bought in and you're completely sold out about the system, okay? You don't, you don't necessarily recruit everyone, right? You just share the business with everyone, okay? A lot of people will disqualify themselves, okay? So you don't have to recruit every single person. Just share the business with everyone. A lot of people, like I said, will disqualify themselves. So create moments to connect with five people a day, right? So before I end, these are the three questions you need to ask yourself when you're skeptical about approaching someone about this business, okay? What's the best that could happen, okay? What's the best that could happen, okay? What's the worst that could happen, right? So first question is what's the best that could happen? The second question is what's the worst that could happen, okay? Now, your third and final question, is what's likely to happen, okay? If you like all three answers, then go for it, okay? 
Guys, I'm going to pass this back to Ms. Tracy Johnson, guys. It was a pleasure to speak to every last one of you guys. Let's pick up the momentum because guess what? We know only dead fish go with the flow. Have a blessed one. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I hope y'all caught that. I was taking notes. I was definitely taking copious notes. I need to bring up our vice president of sales right now. I want y'all to know that this gentleman has done it. He has done it all. Everything we're trying to do, he has done. I'm going to bring him up really quick so that he can give us some nuggets. When I met him in Vegas, man, they were talking, I almost cried like four times. All right, all right, Mr. Sterling, please come on up. Come on up, the mic is yours. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Tracy, can you hear me? <clears throat> I can, I can see you too. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm excited to be here, guys. I mean, I know they're, they're pushing on 1,300 people almost uh, on this call. And I want you to know, if you're on this call right now, uh, you decided not to let a small thing like a, uh, a bed length stop you. You decided not to let a moment in time be a, a permanent speed bump. And I'm excited that you're on this call and Tracy, all that you're doing, you're leading from the middle, from the front, and also you're supporting from the rear. So we, we applaud you, we celebrate you uh, for making it happen. Thomas, to you as well. Uh, Joy, man, it's always a pleasure. And the mogul laid some uh, serious gems right there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give you a, a major salute as well. So uh, let's go ahead. I see I got some challenging light right here. I'm gonna slide around. I wanna make sure you guys can see me pretty good. All right, all right, all right. It's got some new lights put up here in my theater, so it's uh, a little bit challenging. There we go. We, we, we'll make that work as well. So here we go. Um, I'll be effective but not eternal today. I want to talk to you about uh, the position in the seat that you're in right now, and there may be a few points on the launch strategy that I can give. And I want you to understand that whatever your leadership says, I want you to defer to that. I'm, I'm just going to give you some things that have worked well in the past, and, and you can glean from those. You can take the meat off the bone, and, and you, can, uh, you can actually nod you on what uh, makes the most sense for you, your family, your organization. So, uh, you know, this company got formed uh, with, with one single intention is to go out there and uh, really help a lot of individuals position themselves in a culture and a community that was supportive where they could actually learn and master a skill that they could keep even outside of the life of this company, okay? Even outside of the life of this company. I want you to understand this. Most people think that, you know, Epic Trading is actually, uh, I'm gonna tell you what Epic Trading is not. It's not a network marketing company that does trading. Most people think that's what it is. Again, Epic Trading is not a network marketing company that does trading. Epic is a trading company that does network marketing. So you can understand and really flip the switch on that philosophy and that mindset and that thinking. You can understand that we're gonna attract more customers, more scholars that are desiring an education in this particular field than I believe any company in the history to do it. Why? Because we're gonna be believing for that together, okay? And once we can start having that common or communal thought process, then we can really start moving forward together, right? Now, also, also I want you to know that uh, all of us are going to have, you know, whether it's the, the millennials, the Gen Xers, or the, the, the baby boomers, the, you know, the, the, the generation that's in the middle, whatever age group you're in, whatever socioeconomic background, whatever diversity you come from, it really uh, doesn't matter. Because see, I want you to understand, the mission never changes, only the method. So whether you're an online marketer, whether you're face-to-face, -face, whether you're a text messenger, whether you're a social media expert, it really doesn't matter because they all are effective. What I'm going to encourage you to understand is that the mission will never change. And our mission is very simple. We, we want to become one of the most admired companies in network marketing history. And as we talk about becoming one of the most admired companies in the entire industry, uh, there, there's a creation process that goes along with that. Whether or not, and you heard Joy talk about goals and setting goals and you know, the, one of the founders of PayPal, Peter Thiel said, I want you to write down a five and a 10 year goal. And once you write those goals down, I want you to start focusing on accomplishing them in the next six months. See, the only difference between you and your goal, no matter how big it is, is time and resources. But most importantly, the X factor that accelerates that is gonna be your belief. Time and resources, but the X factor which accelerates that is your belief. So let's go ahead and put that, that same context of, that 10 year and five year goal and, and, and accomplishing in six months, let's put that into the framework of Epic during the pre-launch phase. I want you right now to go out there and, and you heard the Siaga always talk about, and I got so much respect for what that gentleman's done in this space. And he decided to come out of retirement and he's been a, he's been a blessing, beyond a blessing uh, to so many people, okay? And he decided to go out there and I understand that one person with courage is a majority, and I, and I salute that gentleman for, for this incredible uh, movement that, he, that he's put together. So how do we put that concept into the framework of Epic? 
we have about 35 days till we go live on October 1st. So knowing that, well, let's just imagine that on July 1st, you can buy Bitcoin, October 1st, you can buy Bitcoin for five cents. How much money would you try to accumulate to buy Bitcoin from now until that point in time? If you knew Google was going public on October 1st, how much effort would you put in there to make sure you were in position to buy the most stock possible? If you knew that Facebook or Yahoo or Apple were going public on October 1st, how much work would you put in? See, the company will have 100,000 people that actually partner with us in the month of September during the pre-launch phase. And uh, you know, we always talk about 40,000 and 40 days. We didn't want to say 100,000 because we didn't want to put people's subconscious in a coma. We will put 100,000 people in this position uh, in, in this company uh, through the pre-launch positioning over the next 35 days. So the question now comes in, not will it happen, but what will your market share be? You get a chance to be a specific part of that market share, right? So if, if that's going to be the case, if, if that's going to happen anyway, now we get a chance to talk about the creation process in its three parts. So the first part of the creation process is called forming. This is where we get a chance to uh, put our thoughts together and write down those individuals we want to reach out to. And that's why that Power 3 document is so important because you can start visualizing exactly what it is your business looks like. Now, if you want to grow a small book of business, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You get your three and you help them get their three. And guess what? You're now in the four, four, and two situation. You're really in four, four, and four, but you're qualified for founder 500. That form is designed to activate the compensation plan. It's so simple. It has three, yourself, your first three, and then three beneath that. So now you've got four in each leg of business that are active as a scholar. So now you are you're you a founder 500. It's $125 per week. Now, I don't want to sneeze at that. I don't want to look down on that. That's exactly where most people want to be. That's a sweet spot in our comp plan. The more people we can help earn an extra $500 in commissions, the stronger the organization becomes, the more rock solid and predictable your business will be. Now, I want you to know that, uh, you know, we talk about sponsoring channel, sponsor 10. It's imperative, imperative, that you go wide because you don't want to be in a position, let's just say you're earning an extra thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month in income, and you have three, but one person is not active in the calendar month. Guess what? You can go from 15, I mean, you know, five, ten, twenty thousand to zero. So you want to make sure never to let the minimums be your maximums. Okay? You want to make sure of that. But when you sponsor wide, you create income, but when you help people in depth, you, you create security. So you want to make sure that not only did your 10, your 20 that you actually brought to the business, whatever that number is, go and get their three. I mean, you got them, but make sure they got their three. And then you start having calls like these, vision casting calls where uh, you, the, the team members get on. And, and what happens every single time is that your business starts growing in depth. And on level four, you sponsor somebody at your first level, they sponsor somebody at your second level. But on level four, and I've been doing this for 15, 16 years, you're going to find another superstar. They're going, to, they're going to be just as hungry as you are. You don't know them. Leaders are either developed through personal training, personal self-development, coaching, mentoring process. They're attracted. They see the movement. They want to be a part of it. Or they're identified. And when you can identify a leader in depth, someone that's been looking and praying for an opportunity, someone that's been saying, you know what, I wish, I wish, I wish, and you can, you can be the reason that that happens because most organizations never go past the second level because their voice stops after their friends and family when they talk to them. So if you want to continue your voice, you got to get your team members plugged into the bigger body of work. You got to get your team members, your friends, your family, your, your first level plugged into calls like these so their belief will go higher. See, when you come on here by yourself, you will learn a lot. But when you come with your team, you will earn a lot. So you get depth in depth in depth and you get down to the fourth level, you're gonna work with someone on your fourth level as if you sponsored them yourself. And you're gonna drive that business. You'll talk about the power of three there and, and getting on these conference calls and, and learning how to master the skill of trading. And you go deeper and deeper and deeper. And when you get down to that third level, uh, that fourth level, again, it's eight levels deep. And you do that across all three lines of business, you'll be at a significant five-figure month income. I'm letting you know right now, that's what's gonna happen in your business. Can I make a promise and a guarantee? I'll let you know one thing, the principles work every single time, every single time. So that, that's part of the forming process is really understanding, writing down what your goals, what your desires are, because you can actually form something 
in the beginning by writing it down. In the book I read, it says that, guys, I'm not talking religion, I'm talking principles. When you write something down, it goes from the ether and it goes into the physical world. So when you write something down, you can start visualizing it so that you can see it later. Okay, everything is created three times in the mental, on paper, and then it's manifest in physical form. Then again, we want to start filling. You go from forming to filling. When you start filling something in, you can start writing in, you can start filling in those circles. Why? It doesn't matter if 10 people tell you no. What you lack in skill at the beginning, you can make up for in numbers. I'll give you an example. Let's just say that Joy is a master recruiter. I'm not. Joy talks to 10 people and three of them join every single time. I talk to 10 and only 0.5 join, right? Let's say one joins, okay? She talked to 10. She got, she got three people in the system. She talked to 30. She got nine. She's on her way. I, you know what? I talked to 100 and I got 10. Who won the battle? At the end of the day, it's not about what the work was, it's about the results are. So we can go out there and what we, what we lack at the beginning in, in, in skill set, we can make up for in numbers. What we lack in skill set, we can produce by validation and third party by getting folks in front of these calls right now. And we can begin filling in the gaps and the structure in, into your goals. See, once you know your goals, you can start filling them in once you have the forming done. And then the finishing is going to happen like this. Happen like this. Now the individuals, so we go, from, uh, we go from forming to filling and then finishing. So once you have individuals positioned in the system and you get them plugged into the training and, and the marketing aspects and they start learning the skill set, I want you to know one of my power phrases is, hey, if you could learn a skill that could pay you for the rest of your life and only took you 12 months to master it, would you be open? Absolutely great. Well, I found a company that for only $1,200, you could actually master a skill set that you could actually pay yourself for the rest of your life. Matter of fact, they even offer a, a right now they have a promotional offer of 0% interest. So you can only have to pay $100 a month over 12 months. Is that something you're interested in? Guys, we got a $99 offer right now that can actually expand out over 12 months for only $1,200. That's what we're talking about. We took it a step further. We, we implemented the Netflix model for only $19.95. You'll get full access to the, to the full, full gamut of financial, ed, I mean, Forex education over the next 35 days. And all you have to do is lock in. If you love it, you keep it. If you don't love it at all, you can, you can throw it away. We'll have more people locked in as customers. We'll have more people locked in to this concept to learn the skill. You want a one-to-many relationship. You want a, one person as a distributor, an IBO to many scholars. We do that, we're gonna keep ourselves in a great form and for a very, very long time. Now, I wanna kinda of close out with this, guys, right? Now, during the growth process, I want you to remember this street sign. We're not gonna be perfect, guys, we're not gonna be perfect. You want perfect, you can go join Herbalife. You want perfect, you can join Amway. But during this process right now, I want you to remember, pardon our progress. We're gonna be amazing when we get started, but we'll be better when we finish. You get a chance to be part of the reason why we succeed at a very, very high level. But again, I promise you one thing, one thing alone. We're dreaming big. I'm going to encourage you to dream big as well because small dreams don't have magic. Small dreams don't have magic. Go ahead, take your, understand the next 35 days, I want you to compress that and say, you know what, I'm going to, the goal I had over 12 months, I'm getting the framework done. I'm filling it in over the next 35 days. We'll start, I'm, I'm, I've already formed it, we're gonna fill it in, and after that, we're gonna, we're gonna start the finishing process. Any house you've ever seen be built, it took them about 30 to 45 days to put the framing up, but it took them another five to six months to finish it. Let's go ahead out there, because we're forming and framing right now. Let's go out here and work on that process, get that foundation tight, and I promise you one thing, the end of this year will not look like the years prior. Don't let your past stop you from what your future can be. Don't let a two-figure decision stop you from a seven-figure future. With that said, I appreciate every one of you. I care, you know what, take care, take charge, and I will see you all at the, oh, watch this. We got some tools, guys, launch.epictrading.com, launch.epictrading.com. You can download the teaser videos, the pre-launch videos. We got applications in English and Spanish, PowerPoints, English and Spanish. We have a banner system going up. Uh, guys, guys, this. We got a swag store that'll go live on the first. Guys, we got the epic T-shirts, the epic hats. I'm yeah. telling everything is gonna be epic. It's gonna be fire. Uh, we got a banner system. Uh, imagine this. Imagine when hundreds and thousands of people start hitting social media and they post their picture in our new system and they can put their name in it and it says, "I locked my spot. I am epic." 
The question now is how many of those people be in your organization? It will, it, it, I leave with this. Nothing will stop an idea whose time has come. Guys, our time has come. God bless, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. I need y'all to drop some super fire in the chat from Mr. Sterling. Please say thank you, thank you, thank you. Please stay tuned. We have something else for you to help you guys to pre-launch strong. I hope you guys are taking notes, man. I've already taken three pages of notes. That was fire, yo. Like, wow. I always like to put these calls together to give you guys tools, techniques, tactics, and motivation so that you can make this September a month to remember for real. All right, so now I'm going to bring up our last speaker. I try not to make the calls be too long, but we're gonna bring up our last speaker. His name is Thomas Carver. He has an exceptional social media marketing engagement strategy that he wants to share with everybody here. All right, so stay tuned. Keep the pen and paper handy. He's really going to drop some knowledge. All right, Thomas, are you there? I'm here, sis. I'm here. All right, let's go. Hear me loud and clear? Yes. How, how you about to have me follow up after Mark, man? He, he got me one to sign up like three, four times myself. Whew, drop he, had another, he had another engagement. Whew. I had to push him <laughs> uh, up. Hey, y'all, y'all, we, we need to drop some ones in the chat for Mark real quick because he brought the heat. Oh, my goodness. Every time. Oh, my goodness. But, yo, I just wanted to say, you know, first of all, you know, thank you so much for having me here. You know, I'm incredibly blessed and humbled to be able to speak in front of all of you amazing people. Um, for those of you that don't know, like Trace said, my name is Thomas Carver. I'm out here in Michigan. I got about eight years of experience in the business. I've ran my own businesses and, you know, I've seen some success in the online marketing space. But tonight, you know, I kind of want to talk to you about some social media marketing and some strategies that, you know, we've been able to implement and some of the key takeaways that we, uh, you know, we bring to our trainings, you know, first of all, you have to give engagement in order to get engagement. Right. You can't just throw a post out there and hope to slap, you know, hundreds of likes. You know, it's called social media for a reason. These platforms literally reward you for being social. Right. So, you know, for me, when we're when we're getting people to build up their their audience, you know, being able to build up their high levels of engagement and really start to hack the algorithm. You know, I, I'll tell everybody on my team straight up like you, you need to engage with about 100 to 150 people before you drop a post right? You know, this may be tiring, may be boring, but if you want to throw, you know, just throw on your favorite podcast, your audio book, and just go to town, I promise you that you're not going to have to do this forever. Maybe the first week or so, if you really want to start seeing them high levels of engagement, you know, you want to jump in somebody's inbox and they go ahead and check out your profile and they see that every status you're dropping, that you're just literally slapping hundreds of likes and comments. You don't believe me, go look at my page. I've been doing it since March, right? You know, just go through and do this. It sucks at first, but you're going to be able to do it. Um, you know, lately, I mean, lately, I'll tell you just straight up, like I've been way too busy to even go through and do this engagement. It's just been nothing but back to back to back calls, webinars, trainings, mindset trainings, literally everything. But, you know, I, I still drop a status and it's, it's receiving hundreds of likes, you know, so just go through it and, you know, just, just start to build up that level of engagement, you know, let, let Facebook recognize you as a social user. And just remember that at the end of the day, people do business with people that they, what, know like and trust use your social media as a tool for people to get to know you for they for them to be able to get to like you and trust you right social media shouldn't be a lens you know, it shouldn't be a filter into your life it should be a lens so one of the things that i like to tell people you know first off is clean up your facebook right clean up your profile don't have it all spammy all crazy all this that and the other you know your name should be your name you don't go to my profile and see Thomas Moneybags Carver or anything like that, you know, catching pips 23, whatever, you know, just, just keep it you keep it real, keep it to, you know, what you stand for, you know, just like, uh, you know, just like Mark was talking about, you know, for, right. I like to talk about family, occupation, recreation, and motivation. You know, that's one of the things that you're going to be talking to with prospects, figuring out them and their key points, but also yourself, you know, let people figure out who you are just by looking at your profile and always, 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 Keep it value over hype. I'm just going to say it right now. A lot of y'all need to be careful with what you're posting because this company here actually has a legitimate compliance team and they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes in order to protect their house. I know us leaders are going to be here to help police it too because listen, we want this company to last. I, I'll tell you what, I've never seen a more stacked out group of leaders and educators all come to one place. And, and one thing I really like that uh, Mark said is Epic Trading is not a network marketing company that does trading. It's a trading company that does network marketing, 
right? That's some straight fire. So you guys, like, if you decide you want to post some profits or whatever, you want to post your winning trades, make sure you're covering up them profits. Be smart. Show people how intelligent you are, how much you've been learning. Calculate the pips. If you decide to leave the lot size where it is, do what you need to do. But, I mean, look at David Luciaga, for example, right? Each week with the free Forex.co system, he calculates how many pips that we want as a team. And then you just simply show people, had they had taken them exact same trades, they could have made X, Y, Z, depending on whichever lot size. So, you know, but you guys need to definitely keep it value over hype. If for some reason you're throwing out profits, you're throwing things out there, please, please, please use a disclaimer. That's going to help you. It's going to help us. It's going to protect us. And, you know, I promise you, when you start doing stuff like that, you start showing people the pips saying, hey, last week we caught, you know, 1,200 pips or last week we caught, you know, 2,600 pips, whatever it may be. You know, you're going to have people, they hit you up. They'll be like, yo, Thomas, like, what are these pips that you talk about? And you can be like, hey, Tracy, like, I'm so glad that you asked. Do you have a couple of minutes? Um, you know, I'd love to be able to send you some information and we can get on a call. It's literally that easy, guys. It shows people that you're focused more on the skill set than the hype. And there are plenty of companies out there that focus on the hype. And we all know what happens to them companies, right? They get a little visit from our friends down at the Federal Trade Commission and the SEC. You already know how it goes. So, you know, definitely make sure you're keeping it value-based, value-driven. And just like, you know, Joy was saying, you know, be selfish. Take this time to be selfish, right? We all have a vision. Figure out what that goal is. You know, figure out where you want to be three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, and, and do it, right? You have so many tools and resources and everything at your disposal. You need to leverage it. This call right now, look at this. We got 1,200 people on this call. You want to start showing people that you're doing something different? Take a screenshot of this. Take a video of this. Take a little boomerang, right? Go ahead and tag us leaders because nine times out of 10, we're going to go ahead and repost it. And that's going to do a few different things. One, it's going to get you some more exposure. Two, it's going to be able to show people that you're excited about something. And three, it's going to also be able to show people that you are a part of something greater than yourself. You guys would have no clue how many people reach out to myself, to Ali, to all these different leaders saying like, look, I would literally pay hundreds of dollars a month just to be a part of these team meetings, these mindset trainings, all these marketing trainings, these live sessions, literally everything. And that doesn't even include the education and all the value that you're getting from the actual company itself, guys. I have never seen a more value-based driven company. When we, went, when we went out there to Vegas, Ali and I went out there for a peace of mind. I can promise you, we got that times 10. These guys said, give us 1% of your trust, we'll earn 99% of the rest. They got 110% of it right up front. I looked at this thing and I said, man, this is it. This is where I'm planting my flag. This is where my company is gonna be able to eat. This is where my team is gonna be able to eat, right? Because these guys are looking at this. So make sure you're using your social media as a tool that you are able to build this, right? You know, Joey was saying like, you know, go ahead and get selfish, post this stuff, use your stories right? Save the actual timeline for the very important stuff. Make sure you're still providing value. If you guys haven't, you definitely need to read or listen to Gary Vee's book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. There's a lot of value in there. A lot of great nuggets in there. You know, a lot of our social media training is based off of that. So definitely make sure you're going through it and just leverage this stuff. You have what? We have four calls a day that are going to be for opportunity calls. Then we have three live sessions, right? Use this stuff. Not to mention all of the different team meetings and everything that you can jump on and all the mindset trainings that you can jump on. Leverage this stuff. Let people know that they have the tools and resources. And just at the end of the day, know that people don't do, you know, they don't do business with billboards. They do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Become that person. Become a friend. Literally, all we were do that literally everything that we're doing here is taking a stranger, turning that stranger into a friend. We're figuring out what problems that these friends have because guess what? We're problem solvers and we're taking that friend, we're giving them a solution and turning them into a business partner. If you take a look outside your, your, your walls right now, take a look outside your window, it's nothing but chaos. We are living in one of the craziest times of our lives and each and every single person has a problem. But guess what? What we're doing here, we have a freaking solution. Use this. Use, use your phone, right? Turn your phone into a freaking ATM. You hear people say it all the time. Be good at you know, building these relationships. You, you need to let people know that we have a solution for their problems because I tell you what, there are many people right now that are struggling with depression. Just being real. There are a lot of people struggling with depression and just being a part of a network, you know, something like this, people that are pushing them to do more, have more and become more could save their freaking life. So, you know, just reach out, be that person, you know, quit, quit asking yourself, what if they say no and start asking yourself, what if they say yes? If you truly believe in what we are doing here, then you know that you need to get it into every single person's hands that you can. Think about the people that you want to help. 
right? This opportunity is absolutely insane. And social media is giving us the power to do that. You couldn't do this back in the day. You would have to be from the same town, the same network, whatever, to be able to share this. But yet, this is the 21st century. We have the power to reach people all around the world. We have the tools at our hands. So just go ahead and just treat this like a business. Treat your profile like a business and know that if you can show people that you're somebody that can be trusted and liked, they're going to do business with you. If you can offer them value, you can do business with them. Use, you know, post on your stories, post four to six times a day, post about motivation, family, post that you're going out on a hike or doing a workout. If you're good at marking up the charts, go ahead and mark up a chart, post a picture and be like, hey, we're about to catch a short on GJ or something, you know, just like go ahead and show people the different stuff that you're able to do, be able to provide value, that lifestyle, right? They're talking about in the beginning, talk about the lifestyle, the lifestyle that you can have. There are so many people that are part of this leadership team and network that have literally only been, you know, just trading for several years. They don't have a regular job. All they do is trade. So do that, right? There, there's so many things that I could tell you to, that you should do when it comes to social media, but I think what is more important is showing, telling you the things that you shouldn't because these things right here will 100% destroy your chances at success. So one of the big things is do not get in arguments online. I, I don't care, you know, if you want to troll someone, whenever someone starts talking crap, just do a little troll and then just leave it alone. But don't post about drama, right? If you got problems, don't take it to social media, take it to your past or take it to whoever, you know, talk to somebody, whatever it needs to be. And, 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 and I don't care what your political views are. I don't care if you're with me or against me, don't post it, right? Do not be posting about politics. Don't post about drugs. And for the love of God, do not even post about racism, right? If you're on this call right now here and you're racist, you don't belong here. I'm just saying, I don't care what the other leaders say. If you're racist, you need to get out because you're not a part of my family. And another big thing is do not tag 99 people in your post. I promise you, if you tag a bunch of people, your post is not gonna go viral. Facebook's algorithm is actually gonna shoot that to the very bottom of the newsfeed and you're probably gonna piss a bunch of people off. So you're, you're really like defeating yourself there. Don't, you don't need to tag a hundred people in order to have your post go viral. I'm just telling you right now, you go and look at my post. The only time I ever tag somebody is maybe as if they're ranking up or I'm tagging my wife in a post or something like that's about it. My post slap. So you, you just go ahead and take a look at it. Right. And you know, one of the things I really want to leave you with is do not spam people, right? This is not a numbers game. You know, you, you could, you could play the numbers, but listen, if you're that type of person that is just literally messaging hundreds and hundreds of people a day saying, Hey, are you interested in learning Forex? Or, Hey, are you um, interested in making money from home? Or, Hey, this is my sign up link, whatever. Like I promise you, it is not going to go well. You're going to exhaust a lot of your energy and it's not going to go well. Literally don't, don't just send some copy and paste message with your sign up link. You know, don't, don't randomly message somebody either saying that they can make a million dollars a month from home if they just sign up with you today. Listen, they're not going to do it. You, first of all, you know, just kind of touch on some, everybody always wants to talk about these high ranks. Are they cool? Yes, they're amazing. Wow. It'd be so cool. But what you don't realize is, is even just that founder 500 level, right? That extra $125 every single Friday, what that would do for the, you know, your, your average stay at home mother or, you know, your single parents, or even just, you know, you know, somebody that's just wanting to pay an extra bill. You know, if you're going to talk to somebody, let's talk about some more realistic numbers. Anybody can achieve the rank of founder 500, founder 1000, making that extra money, you know, where they can pay for their mortgage each month. If you're going to talk about numbers, talk about those, but don't just go out and spam a bunch of links because guess what? At the end of the day, you're representing yourself and you're not only doing that, but you're representing this business. I don't want to see this business go anywhere. We have something truly amazing here. Don't, don't make us look bad because you want to just take the easy route and copy and paste to 200 freaking people. You're going to look bad. You're never really going to make it that far and you're probably not going to achieve a lot of ranks. So, you know, just again, go ahead and take a look at everything we got going on in this world. Look at everything that we have here. We have a lot of value. So go ahead, step up, become that person that you truly want to be, right? If you want to sign up a bunch of aces, become one. You want to sign up a bunch of leaders, become one. Step into the light. Each and every one of us right now has the exact same opportunity to achieve these ranks day one. We all have the exact same opportunity to jump into this pre-launch and just blow it out of the water. Go through, start engaging with people, start messaging with people, start building relationships. And I guarantee you, you're going to come out of this on a whole nother level. If you guys have any other questions, you can always feel free to reach out to me. But sis, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing back over to you.
Thank you, thank you. I was just answering all the cute, all the questions in the Q and A. I hope you guys were taking some notes. It looks like um, there's a lot that we need to do. We need to clean up our profile. We need to give engagement to get engagement. No spamming. You know, post lifestyle, business, trading. You want to do some attraction marketing. You want to put your disclaimers in when you're making money for the academy. You want to post and tag our leaders for more exposure. You know. Um, you want to leverage, you know, we've just been saying so much. And just in case you missed it, the book he recommended was Jab, Jab, Right Hook by Gary V. You want to post six to, four to six times a day. Guys, we have had a really amazing call tonight. We've had a really amazing call tonight. I mean, there's so much that we've learned. We've learned from Mark Sterling that you got to get your team plugged into a bigger body of work. That we have to, it's the principles that work every time. We have to write mentally and, and, and on paper in order to manifest. It's about the results and the work. There's just so much that we got from here. You know, never let your minimum be your maximum. This is vision casting. So you want to build wide. Leaders are developed and attracted versus um, attracted. So that's where the social media um, uh, management comes in. And then they're identified and developed. Belief is the X factor that we're really doing, that we're really, really selling here. We're selling hope. That's what the major thing is here and what we're doing. People need hope. They need to know that they can make money. They need to know that they can make money any time of the day, any time that they want. They're coming here to learn how to trade Forex in order to change their life, in order to change their mailbox, in order to create security for them and their families. So this is what we're looking to do. So we want to do the, we want to cast out the belief. We want to write the vision. We want to make it plain. We want to put the affirmations out and we want to execute on this vision. All right. So I'm going to be closing up, but I want you to know we're having a call tomorrow. Tomorrow's call, we are going to go over what our academy offers. I know a lot of you really want to know what is this about? What, is, what do they offer? What are we getting for our $99? And we're going to go over the compensation plan. So you're not going to want to miss it. We're actually going to start working on that. We're going to start working on the lineup and all the, feet, all the flyer information. We're not going to have any technical difficulties this time. We're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Feel free to unmute yourselves and say thank you, say good night, whatever you'd like to do. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Don't be, don't <laughs> be average. Being be epic. Thank you. So <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being on the call. Um, have a great night. Get to work. Write it down. Start executing. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Yo.